Hey everybody, welcome back to Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival. Um, testing out my new hat out here today in the elements. It's the day after the uh, the great bread and milk blizzard of February 1st. So today I got a little challenge for everybody today. Um, everybody's got some pretty cool kits in their bug out bags. I've seen some really nifty ones out there. And today I challenge you to the bug out bag soup challenge. Um, and the whole goal of this is to take whatever you have in your bug out bag for a cooking kit and, uh, you know, say you, you bugged out and you came across a can of soup. So let's see how you can heat a can of soup with your bug out gear. Um, give it a shot, you know, see what, uh, See what it's got, see what it's made of. You know, if you can't heat a simple can of soup, you may have to rethink the um, the cooking kit that you have in your bug out bag. So today we're gonna give it a whack with uh, my twig stove. We're gonna see how that sucker works and uh, hopefully we're gonna have some soup here. Stick around guys, let's check it out. Well, so far so good with the new hat. Let's see, uh, let's see what our little kit has in store for us here. Let's get it set up. Build a little fire. I collected some twigs for the stove here. So uh, hopefully they're dry enough to catch. But that's why I put this kit together the way I did. With a couple extra ingredients. To uh, help the fire get going. Instafire, that's the one. And today we're gonna have uh, broccoli and cheese with bacon. Woohoo! Thanks be to Progresso. All right, guys, let's give it a whirl here. Let's see if we get our cross hatch set up. Dump in some Insta Fire. Get this sucker cooking. It looks kind of like kitty litter almost. Shake a little around the bottom there to get it going. We're going to break ourselves up some really small twigs to start with. You know, smaller than a pencil, guys. Something really small. Here, I'm going to take one of our waterproof matches. The fire is lit. We'll slowly feed it these little twigs. One match light, guys. That was pretty great. Instafire stuff's pretty cool. If it'll uh, get this fire going, I'll have to pick up some more of it. While that's getting going, I suppose we'll have ourselves some soup here. Alright, digging deep into the preps here for this guy. The whole can fits. The room to spare, guys. 
That's actually going pretty good. Now we're cooking soup. There you have it guys, the bug out bag soup challenge, ta-da! Just a handful of twigs. Cooking the soup, guys. Cooking the soup. And in case you were wondering, Progresso. Broccoli and cheese with bacon. I can hear the soup boiling down there. This is really best done with the pot holder. She is a little tippy. That's one downfall to this thing. We're probably about five minutes in and uh, we got some hot soup guys. I'm gonna say this this twig stove is a win all the way around and it contains your fire too so if you're trying not to be found out you can uh, collect your ashes here and take them with you and dump them off someplace else bury them or you know hide them however you have to do it but everything's contained right there in that little cup just tap it out and walk away Well, there you have it guys, the, uh, the bug out bag soup challenge. Mmm, that's actually really good. I have to get some more of that. Broccoli and cheese with bacon progresso, mmm. So keep pushing yourself, keep challenging yourself. Get out and try the stuff that you have. Um, if it doesn't work, now's the time to find out. You certainly don't want to find out in the middle of a bug out situation that this stove isn't going to work. It's not going to achieve the goals that you set out to have it do. So uh, get out there and do, guys. Go out and do. Uh, be safe. Be smart. Have a plan. And remember, hope's not a good plan. Hudson Valley Prepping Survival, out.